Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I hope you are having a great Saturday so far. Of course, a very wet start. Uh, kind of a loud morning across the region. A lot of showers, a lot of thunderstorms uh, across uh, good chunks of the four state area. And this is something that we're going to continue to see as we go through the morning hours. Weather 2020 video, of course, on these videos, we, we like to focus a lot on the LRC, the long range forecasting pattern. We like to talk about how this pattern is uh, now in the dying stages and then morphing into the new pattern over the next uh, month and a half to two months. But we also talk about what's going on now and that's what we're going to focus on today. Instead of long range, we're going to talk about what are you going to see over the weekend? Because we have showers, we have thunderstorms. In fact, today, I want to go to Table Rock. I want to get the boat out. I want to boat for a little bit. But as you can see, I'm still at home. The reason I'm at home is because of that. It's raining outside, so I'm going to follow these storms down to Table Rock. All right, of course, uh, Superior Roofing and Construction. I want to give those boys a huge shout out. Uh, Cole Slaughter, one of the owners, just had a newborn baby this week, so congrats to him. And Melissa Slaughter. They are a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned and operated right here in Joplin, Missouri at 7th and High Street. They did my roof last fall if you have roofing needs, especially with storms that roll through. Call them. The number is right there on the screen. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. Look at the big band of showers and thunderstorms developed late last night, kind of pushing through eastern Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, parts of uh, Missouri as well. None of these have been severe, but we've definitely had some stronger storms that have popped up. A lot of thunder, a lot of lightning, a lot of cloud to ground, ground to cloud lightning uh, that we have seen over the past uh, several hours. Let's go ahead and we're going to zoom in, take a tour here. And you can see showers, thunderstorms, pretty good ones. Again, strong ones. Uh, you can see the lightning bolts. So that's where the more intense storms are, just west of Chanute, Erie, over toward Fort Scott, Lamar, down I-49. Uh, a little cluster near Joplin, then it picks up again, Neosho. Uh, if you're at the lake, so let's look at Grand Lake. You do have some storms around you, so be careful. Beaver Lake is getting showers and thunderstorms right now. Heading over toward Brants and Table Rock, you guys are getting showers and thunderstorms, and we'll continue to for the next uh, couple hours heading out toward the lake of the ozarks you guys are dry right now but stockton lake also you're embedded with a few scattered showers and thunderstorms let's go a little bit farther south you can see some thunderstorms south of tulsa uh, muskogee all the way down to McAllister. pretty good cluster on the southeast side of the Oak, uh, oklahoma city metro down toward Elmore City. And again, so as we go through the afternoon, this cluster, this whole entire cluster, see here, all this is going to kind of rotate off toward the south and to the east. But what we're going to have to watch is redevelopment back toward the west later on today. So let's go through time. All right, so let's go through into the afternoon. So this cluster now in Arkansas is dying, but you can see showers and thunderstorms starting to pick up, scattered out toward Wichita and Oklahoma City, but most likely not severe. As we continue through the afternoon into the evening, so again, if you're going to be at any of the lakes, Lake of the Ozarks, uh, Bull Shoals, Table Rock, Beaver, Grand, Stockton, all look pretty good this afternoon into the evening. But then you want to watch these bands of showers and thunderstorms that start increasing out toward the west. Because this is going to be a pretty good batch that rolls through a little bit later on tonight. So these increase and then start to push through central Kansas. And some of these could be at least low grade severe uh, from Wichita, Salina, Hayes, all the way down through central parts of Oklahoma. You can see here's 1 a.m. starting to get into southeastern parts of Kansas. So Chanute, Pittsburgh, Joplin, uh, Miami, all the way down toward Tulsa. And again, some of these storms could be a little bit stronger. So we want to watch that. As we continue through the overnight hours, here's 3.30 in the morning, showers, thunderstorms getting into the Kansas City metro area. Again, some stronger storms all the way back toward Lawrence, Topeka, a good storm southeastern Kansas, all the way through southwestern parts of Missouri. So Springfield getting into the action. Not a whole bunch in northwest Arkansas, but you will see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Most of these storms are going to kind of ride along the Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas state lines and north. That's where a majority of these storms are going to be. All right, let's go to tomorrow morning. Still showers and thunderstorms. Here's 6 a.m. 
as we continue through the morning, the heaviest of the rain starts to push off toward the east. But look at this. Look how showers and thunderstorms, they keep trying to regenerate back to the west. So southeast Kansas, north central parts of Oklahoma. And we're going to see this through the morning hours tomorrow. Scattered thunderstorms continuing to regenerate. So you can see on the southeast side of Kansas City, central Missouri, all the way back through southeastern Kansas. Then it gets interesting, if it's not interesting enough. As we get into Sunday afternoon, I'm going to zoom in here. Any of these storms that fire from Pittsburgh, Nevada over to Springfield, Monette, those could go severe very quickly. But what is also going to happen is this wave out across parts of Texas and Oklahoma is going to kind of merge together and we get all kinds of storms. You include a cold front that is moving down through central Kansas. So these could most likely be severe tomorrow evening. Uh, St. Joe back towards Salina, even Kansas City will have a severe threat. Emporia, Wichita, and then even all the way down to Joplin and Springfield. Let's continue through the overnight hours tomorrow night. Look how the storms blossom by midnight. And again, these could be strong to severe, very heavy amounts of rain. Continue through the night. And then finally, we start to clear out by Monday morning and we start to cool down quite a bit. High temps are only going to be into the low to mid 80s. So, um, of course, over the next couple days on our Weather 2020 videos, we're going to have to be focusing on showers and thunderstorms. Um, I do go to Alaska on Tuesday, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to be gone two weeks, but um, I assume I'm going to have Wi-Fi somewhere at some point in time. So I'll make sure to give you videos as well, because as we switch uh, from old LRC to the new LRC pattern, things are going to get uh, very interesting a lot. And we're going to have a lot to talk about as we switch that pattern. Plus El Nino this year is going to influence the LRC pattern. So uh, pretty cool. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you leave them below. But I hope you have a great weekend. I just want to let you guys know when and where you're going to have to be dodging storms. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Saturday and Sunday.